he said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believe in him will not perish, but have what? Eternal life. So by receiving his Son, we receive eternal life. So receiving eternal life, we can now function not just as a mortal man, we can function as gods on earth. He said, Ye are gods and the children of the most high. It's a year of God little children and he has overcome them. For greater is he that is in you than he that is what? In the world. Now listen to me. That kind of word coming to a man who denied God, who allowed another man to woo him out of the garden. So God didn't just extend his love towards us by saving us. He gave us all of him. The Bible said, for God commended his love towards us. Now even while we are yet sin, he said, Christ. Time. Do you know why that love should be indeed called a reckless love? So it was not a negotiation. Now, if I send my son out and then my son died for you, will you accept me? Will you follow me? Now, let me give you an example. It's like a man that is married to a woman. And then suddenly, another man just came to me. You know, I get in the house then, pick your wife and carry your wife. And your wife agreed. There are no problem. Anything will do fairly late. Like this is the person I love. Anything will ever love me. Know. With that kind of decision, if you appear in your home and then you discover that everything you have, like some of the things on ground, have been moved away, you now call your wife and say, Lie, you, lie, lie, you, lie, you, never call this number again in your life. I've gone with another person. What will happen to you? How will you feel about that? You are pretending. I said, How will you feel about that? You will be very angry, you will feel betrayed, you will feel tired, there will be serious, it will cause pain. Imagine in that kind of situation. Will you ever think of going to an automat to get a car for her? Yeah? Okay, let's assume that okay, you are trying to do Nollywood movie. <laughs> now let me go and beg her. There are two risks of car. The first one is that you might waste your money buying that car. Another one is that this woman can collide with a new husband and they collect the car and she's telling you, thank you for the gift. <laughs> I'm not coming back home. Two Exactly, you see that narration looks like the action of God. You created a beautiful place for people and you kept them there. Nothing was lacking. All that they needed for life kept in the place. And somebody came and seduced them out of the place. And so they left the guy. Oh no, shame. In fact, if that happened here on earth, you will look at that and say, You're a fool. That is what you will say to that. that you must be a fool. With that kind of thing, you now like okay, they have left that day. They were wooed out of that place. You now carry your only son. They slaughter my only son for them so that they can come back to me. What if you slaughter the only son and they said no? That we are not coming. And do you know that some people still said no to today? Some of them have been listening to me right now and they are not born again. They moved them out of the garden. They left and betrayed him. Now he sent his son to die. Only few received him. John chapter 1. He said he came to his home. His home received him. But as many as received him, to them gave him power to become what? Son. He very much of probability. Do you know that even those who have not said yes to Jesus, to his death, to his sacrifice, he still died for them. He still loved them. What a reckless love. Did you get that? It's an intense love. So if you are listening to me and you are born again, it's not because you just wish to be born again. That love must have captured your heart. So which category are you? Are you in the category of the people who said, no problem. I left the garden, you gave your only son and your only son died for my sin. But yet, I will do what I want to do. My concern about your matter is that as those men are still rejected, we are not accepting the son. Whatever sacrifice you said this son has offered, we don't care. We are going to be drinking and be humanized and enjoying ourselves in sin. My concern is the presence of that same God. Say, I stand by the gate and I know I cannot. If any man hears my voice and open unto me, I will come in unto him and die at the gate of your life. He was talking to a church like that in Revelation. I stand by the gate and knock. That should be Revelation 3.20. I stand by the gate and I knock. If any man, who is that word for? Say it loud and clear. The people he died for, the people he gave his only son for. Yet, 
listen to me. Imagine now. Offered the ultimate sacrifice for the rescue of the people who left me and betrayed me. People said yes to a stranger. I gave them everything they needed in the garden, but they said yes to a stranger. Now I gave my only son. And they said they are not, they are not accepting. Me, I will go and stand by the gate and still be knocking to hell with them. I wish for that. But yet, he didn't say that. His response was not to hell with you if you don't accept. He says, I stand by the gate. And I knock. When you see the character of God, you will almost say it's a weak God. But that is strength. That is strength. That, that shows you. In fact, this is where the power of God lies. That was why I said it on Sunday. That you might think the power of God is seen in His ability to create the world as it is, the heaven and the earth. But for me, at the heart of His power is seen and demonstrated in His love for humanity. Because a man is not powerful when he's given the privilege to do what he can do. So you can only check the strength of a man when you put in front of him what you think that man will not be able to do. And then he just believes that it's good. Ah, you say this guy is a powerful guy. So the powerfulness of a man can only be seen when he's trying to engage what he does not have, like what you think he can do. And he's able to get it. So, being a creator, one of the demonstrations of the power of God is, is the fact that he created the heaven and the earth and that he created you in my image. But I'm now telling you now that more than just his power to create, is his power to forgive. What God did was great. It was a stretch. You don't know how big God is until you see how big His love is. His love towards us shows to us how big His heart is. He's like, no, I'm not going to follow you, God. The more you run away from Him, the more He releases the river on the same side to overtake you. And that river is His love. Oh, Beto, the Oh, I will not do it again. I'm not even serve you again. I will not. He will just look at you. My daughter, you know I love you. I love you. Ah! And he's not a manipulator. He will not come and try to manipulate you. If there is any instrument that God uses to capture men, is the outpouring of his love. And you see, this dimension of it is inexhaustible. For a long time, you have been trying to like, let me go back and read. But you can't just explain why you are always in this net. It's love. Some of you here, if God decided to just show you another path and do like this to you, you, if you did, you would have gone away. You would have run away. You even wish that God, all of them, different and all of them, because they will go shame. But now you, you are trying to break. But if we look at you and just smile and say, No, daughter, you understand. Calm down. You are here, you have done that before. And they are like, Oh, the boy, many times will not calm down. Oh, the many times will not calm down. His love is breaking your heart. His love is faithfulness. Because while you are trying to pull yourself back and go back, you still think of the things that you if he speaks to your heart and he discovers that your heart is getting hardened, and then you are you are seriously discouraged. Somebody you didn't discuss your matter with, you can't whisper to them. Is that God you will see? Now you be in that place. I'm not fine, I'm not fine. Ah, you must be fine. You don't know God has mouth. He has his mouth. He speaks to men. He oppresses to men. So there are times that you feel, ah. If it is prostitution, I will do it now. I can't be struggling with all money. And as we're planning that, one of the sisters, we just pass through your house. I just know. And they're like, ah, why are you? I'm just passing something to me to check on. Ah, sister, can we pray? Ah, you brother, can we pray? And then after the prayer, all the thought of, all the negative arrangements, is not funny. It's a reckless love. 
Now you see, he demonstrated such intense love to impart into us his very nature. The Bible says, God is love. His totality is defined by his love. What some of you call power is not power. Somebody has money, he has power. He has a gun, he has power. You have never seen anybody with love. I mean intense love. We are most powerful men on earth. The power of God is demonstrated in his love. He is seen in his love. Because whatever he has built by his power, without his love, he himself will destroy it. So his love pacifies him. Takes away his anger. Takes away his, his pain. Whatever we are doing to pierce his heart is not coming to him. Because he's standing, looks at your face, you see Jesus. Because the sacrifice of his son is hanging on you. It's written all over you. So mess up where he's still picking you up and saying, You have decided not to come to him in fellowship, in communion. You have decided not to even pray in tongues because you have you felt, What is no longer we will pray? Pray, 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 pray. This is three years of prayer, and prayer, and nothing, and nothing. Just as you are saying it, I don't pray in tongues. He just enter into a meeting like this. And his love will spread everywhere. You won't know why you say shark. Ah! Romans 5:5. 5, 5. He said, For hope, naked not ashamed. Because of what? He said the love of God is shared abroad in our heart by the Holy Ghost, which is within us. So he gave us the Holy Ghost to express his love in our heart. The Holy Ghost is like the engagement ring. It's a sign of his love. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He didn't just give you eternal life. He gave you his eternal spirit. And by his spirit, his love is shed abroad. So that so as he is, you can also be on earth. He is love. And you expect that to be in his likeness. And express love on 